my name is Sophie I'm yoga teacher at Fly High in Dubai. Today I will do facial release with a recovering. If you don't have a recovering, you can use a baseball or tennis ball or golf ball, something like, like a small size of ball. Uh, in case I have uh, that kind of ball. So I will show you how to use this one if you don't have uh, this and you no problem. So I will show you. So some of the people maybe don't know about the fascia release. Fascia is a um, inner around the muscle who cover our body. So sometimes very tension and also very pain. And uh, so we need using these props get rid of your pain and get rid of your tension as well. So and then so this is you will be help to your reprogramming your body position. So it's very good for your body, for health and release your your tension. So let's start today. Today I will do most of backside, uh, low back and middle back, upper back and the neck as well. So how to do it? So if you have this one. I will do this way. <laughs> so behind, right now on your behind your back first. Before, make a line. We could say that this is top, this is a bottom. So using the two top behind your back, make a line. So when you lie down, people check if it's a line or not. So when you lie down, your spine like middle of the ring. So no one hurt. If you don't have this one, you can using this so at the beginning we shaking the whole your spine and muscle first after then specialize your low back middle back upper back and neck okay so at the beginning to lie down gently nicely and gently lie down Take a big breath in and long breath out. So when you do fascia release, very important to using your body weight and also feel the gravity and using your breath as much as you can whenever you exhale, body make it heavy. And then feel mind please. Keep bend your knees, cross your arm in front of the chest gently. So when you cross your arm using your top of your arm's weight and gently side to side, rock in, side to side. And feel so very great. If someone uh, to uh, make it too tight, people must be to chin up to the ceiling then you can uh, towel under the, your head or using the block like this under the, your head but this is too high I know but if you uh, don't have a little bit smaller size or using the, the towel is better so keep gently side to side as much as you can but not too much long so if you like this one gently, like uh, three minutes for five minutes, it's no problem. And also you can arms all the way up. As much as you can relax your arms first. Take a deep breath in, exhale even more heavy. Keep stay here with the fine. And if you want, and also side to side. Oh, it's really nice. When you feel enough and gently arms down, slowly, and roll to the one side and comfortable seated position. So from now, we do low back first. So bring your one knee behind your low back area. If you don't have a ring, 
using the this ball and like here. So if you have a uh, you have a spine muscle, spine ball, and right next to each other. So lumbar spine area. So you can using the button to start a little bit more higher. So you can using choose a more low, a little bit more higher, a little bit more higher. So for all the low back lumbar spine area first, okay? But using the ball, you have to be very careful. So don't under your spine. So it will be really pain. But if you have this so much easy control, the side is uh, between the gap, so it's very good for release your low back area. So when you lie down before keep bend your knees, your hip on the floor, so slightly gap over your hip and your ring, and gently lie down. All the way. So feels like a little bit uh, over rotosis the curve, but just feel at the moment as much as you can relax your breath and feel your low back area whenever I exhale even more heavy after that gently right knee toward your chest and gently down left knee toward your chest and gently down all the movement is very slow if you're too fast you cannot feel enough so all the time using your movement is very slow and down and knees toward your chest and down few more times if you want a little bit more after then clasp your hands behind your head take a big breath in exhale lift your head up toward the ceiling and lift your chest up and gently down. If you're too much, just lift your head up enough. If you feel not enough, lift your shoulder blade. And gently down. Lean in. Exhale, lift your head up. Lift your shoulder blade. And gently down. Inhale. Exhale, lift your head up. Lift your shoulder blade. And gently down. Inhale, exhale, lift your head up, lift your shoulder blade. Inhale, exhale, gently down. Inhale, exhale, lift your head up, lift your shoulder blade. And gently down. One more time, inhale, exhale, lift your head up, lift your shoulder blade. And gently down. Lead your hands down and gently your knee to side to side. It's very good. Some people is a very low back pain a lot. It's a very good for lead your low back. And now gently release. Roll on to your one side and take out the rings, lie down your back, and before just relax over lotus's curve, and gently knees, bring your knees toward your chest, and low back plant, and release again. And then grab your knees, and then clockwise little circle. change the other direction as well and now slowly release again gently come up come to a seated pose in this time middle of your spine muscle so that is usually between your shoulder blade I will do so hugging yourself first, then you can palpate where is your shoulder blade. So you can see the, my shoulder blade here, you can palpate very easily. So then one, the recovery right in the between your shoulder blade, okay? But how to use the, this one? Okay, you can palpate as well when you lie down and that is between your shoulder blade, okay? 
slightly lower or slightly more higher but it doesn't matter but between your shoulder blade the area also don't put on your spine bone okay it will be very painful so the we will again lie down gently lie down first You can palpate your shoulder blade again and then they disappear uh, the, between your shoulder blade. It's very good. And gently lie down your belly. Uh, relax your belly also. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arm. Feel using your body weight and feel the gravity. And using your breath, nice and soft breath. As you inhale, gently arms all the way up and gently arms all the way down when you exhale, slow. A few more times, arms up and down with your breath, exhale down. When your arms are up and down, at the time your arms are also very heavy, using your arms weight and feel the gravity. If you're too fast moving, you, can, you cannot feel enough. And then also you feel, compare, when your arms are, how does you feel? And then when your arms are down, how does, how does you feel? Someone is almost very different. When you finish, arms outside. Exhale, gently cross your arm in front of your chest, hugging yourself. Again, gently arms out. When your arms are open your chest, that is a retraction. When you cross your arm, that is a protraction. So feel, how does you feel the difference? Arms out and hugging yourself. So retraction and protraction, how do you feel the, your thromboid? Arms out, exhale, cross your arm. If you want to keep a few more times, if you're okay, and side to side to here. It also depends on not too long, but depends on people. If you're too tight, you can a little bit longer. Okay, very good. And now gently release your arms down. Again, roll onto your one side or any other side. Anyway, then take out the rings, lie down your bed. And feel for a while. Every time we do uh, some massage, after then feel and mind release everything, include uh, everything, absorb your feeling inside your body. After then, gently sit on the floor, and then we'll, we will do top of the trapezius. So you can see the pole point, right? So you can see four point. This is the top of the trapezius here. Your neck is above the here. So when you lie down, so using the four point is under the right, under the, your neck, and the neck is here. So if you do using the ball, by the top of the trapezius above the scapula, above the scapula, and then not on the neck, under the side right, your neck. So that part is you can do it, okay? So this is the top of the trapezius. Then in this recovering very easily find out. So lie down again, gently.
as much as you can using your body weight and feel the gravity soften your breath nice and slow as much as you can when you exhale even more heavy and gently arms all the way up top of your hands touch the floor as much as you can relax your arms Slightly bend your elbows out and feel your arms weight and from here you can do side to side For a while you can do side to side If you feel too much, you can just stay Not too much to push yourself now inhale, when you exhale, lift your hips up, lift the low back, middle back, upper back. Pretty your high your hips, then you can feel on top of the trapezius is really hard. If you can feel really pain, I know. When you exhale gently, heavily down, upper back, middle back, and low back. Good. Again, inhale, exhale, lift your hips up, lift low, middle, upper back. Stay here. One more big breath in, and long breath out. Exhale gently, rolling down. If you want a few more times like this, inhale, exhale, curl tailbone out, lift your hips, lift low back, middle back, upper back. Stay here if you can also side to side. Also, if you too much feeling too painful, don't need to uh, rocking side to side. Just stay and feel that is also enough. If you are not too low, is you not feel enough? If your hips more higher, you can feel, really feel. At the beginning, it's really painful, but it's, uh, when you repeat, repeat again, it goes very quickly, your tension's out. So afterwards, feel very good. And also feel also side to side. And gently rolling down. I do one more time, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips, lift the roll, middle, upper back, stay. And gently side to side. Oh, very good. If exactly what I want, the <laughs> massage. If you are okay, stay here and then rolling down. If you want a little bit more, repeat. After then, gently when you inhale arms up to the ceiling so as much you can not straight to your arms not tension as much you can relax your arms something your arms are hanging feels your arms weight gravity as much as you keep your arms relax you can feel more and individually your arm little circle Also change the other direction. And now gently all the way down. And roll onto your one side and take up the rings and lie down your back and feel the top of the trapezius. So feel great. <laughs> Really addicted to this pain sometimes. And gently again when you feel enough. So now maybe I will tie my hair first. So now it's a leg release. This is some part is very important to release because it's related to uh, the part. 
so head you know sometimes you really head to pain and the headache head pain <laughs> when you headache and some night on very unsteep with your neck and shoulder of course your top of the trapezius and then relate to your neck and also too and also the right under the your hairline so head and neck connected to that part so we using this one if you go right under the head like a hairline like here it's so good avoid the form and this one we can use in the if you see every every everyone so outside the some is a sharp some is a smooth anything you want to choose no problem whatever you want and then i will do a little bit smooth part and but the inside uh, bottom area facing towards you under the hairline okay again lie down your back and find your hairline also standing if you cannot find the balance this one you can usually keep your hands or just like this you can see and have to very relax your head keep soft in your jaw as much as you can relax your neck and head and breathing is nice and slow it's very important to muscle to the okipita muscle head to connect to the neck uh, this one is uh, one of the circulation blood circulation heart to head if you're too tight to this muscle so lots of headache as well also blood pressure is really high so that part is really very very important to release and so after then it feel very good try it. and now gently if you need gently hit your head side to side very slow and small degrees side to side oh my god this is so great when you side to side like five ten degrees if you can like ear to ear but slow nice and also side to side the chin slightly up and down up and down up and down I prefer side to side very good feeling if you feel enough also gently relax just now and then take out the ring and lie down your head and feel and then you feel enough gently come on today like a lot of back muscle release and then my neck I feel very great <laughs> hopefully you also feel enjoyed and nice and relaxed uh, this situation coronavirus is all every country is really hard time but please be safe and healthy and then keep fit and relax your body okay hopefully you like this video uh, push the like and then share this video with your friends and also subscribe uh, always uh, this class at fly high in the morning class in the evening class hopefully we can see you soon at fly high and have a nice day see you soon bye bye